the brake shoes should be on the back side and not on the front side. Yeah. And in order to do that, you have you would drop this down about a quarter inch, the, the stirrup guide, and then you would uh, you, you have to invert this from the other one. They become a trailing arm instead of a leading arm, and you get it back there. And the general idea there is that when you're pulling on the brake, right now you're you're pushing the brake shoe away. The dynamics make it so that it's it, the, it's the, the wheel is pushing it away. If it's on the other side, it, it digs in and it gets a lot better pressure when this brake shoe is on on the other side. And once again, there's no parts involved. Just have to invert everything around. Yeah. You know, so the way I got this bike was with uh, with this resting on the stirrup. Oh. Well, when they're like that, <laughs> and and you see a lot of them this way, when they're like that, you've got a certain amount of wiggle in your in your brake lever that's not doing anything because it's, it's just resting there. Yeah. And part of the whole tension of the system isn't just the spring, but the other part of it is the fact that these are made to spread out, but with the uh, with these guide posts canted. They get more spring in them mm -hmm. to to help it retract, and a little dab of oil on there is is always good. I'd much rather have a little oil and a little road dirt than have those dry. Mm -hmm. It keeps them nice and sliding and keeps the chrome there for a little while longer. 